Hi everybody, English Bob here. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is just a little bit of a quick tour around my current daily driver, which I've now been using for approximately four months solid. Not a single issue, single problem. Um, everything is absolutely fantastic. A little bit different to um, other Linux YouTubers. Um, that you'll find out there. So we're currently running PC Linux OS 2023. This has been installed and been absolutely rock solid now for four months without a single hitch. It's running KDE Plasma 527.4. I've paired this with an AMD Ryzen 3 3200G with Raiden Vega inbuilt graphics, 16 gig of DDR4 RAM, and a couple of cheap little external SATA SSDs, all on a cheap microstar am4 motherboard um i really am so in love with this operating system the operating system is completely separate from all the apps and any games i want to run on it um and that's all courtesy of flat pack so every single app that i'm running is it's just honestly fantastically wonderfully stable and fast uh, and reliable i can't stress that enough this ISO was provided, it's a custom ISO um, provided by Ali, so if any of you are interested in giving a custom PC Linux OS a run out on your hardware, well, you might have um, mixed experiences. I can only um, chat about my experience on the Ryzen 3 with the Raiden Vega graphics. I have used external graphics cards with this operating system, excuse me, <clears throat> both from AMD and NVIDIA, and had absolutely no issues whatsoever so far. But the inbuilt Raiden Vega graphics of the 3200G chip is just kind of a match made in heaven. So it's a straightforward uh, AMD uh, KDE Plasma. I've done a bit of a, you know, a bastardization of it because, hey, it's me, isn't it? Uh, just saying. Um, but nevertheless, I can't tell you how reliably fast this whole experience has been it's a breeze to keep updated it's simplicity itself to install and set up and once it's done it's done all your apps are available via flat pack so there's no need to install anything locally everything can be um, run within its own container and you can see the speed, hopefully, with which it's running. Hi, uh, here. Which, uh, for me, blows me away on a PC of this spec and this cost. Now, I am in the at the moment in the middle of pricing up the cheapest brand new current motherboard 3200U comp 3200G combo. Um, so I'll keep you all um, abreast and appeased of that. <coughs> uh, but literally everything I throw at it, you've only got to touch your mouse button and the thing's up and running. It's just so fast. Uh, it's an absolute revelation. And it's so nice to get away from your Ubuntu, Debian, Arch, Gentoo, Slack, all of them. Just dump them. Spending hours in the command line, you know, typing commands in and getting stuff to work. PC Linux OS just works. The apps, the flat pack apps come down and they just work. Even Steam just works. I'm going to try and do a little test here now. I don't know if this is going to cause me issues um, because everything is containerized, even Steam in its own container. Um, the only two games that I'm currently running on here are Grid Auto Sport and Guild Wars 2. Um, I would like to add uh, my trucking games, but I don't know if this is going to uh, play and record slash stream. Now, using the Raiden Vega, it plays like an absolute beast. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> However, I've not actually tried uh, recording a video of it, so you can see the speed at with which it all runs. And as I say, this is just off two little SATA SSDs. Not even MVMEs, they're just SATA. Uh, I can get a rock solid 60 frames a second at 1080p. Although this video is in 720p because it's just easier on the uh, the Raiden Vega. It really is. It's just so much easier. Uh, and this is only really for 
uh, demonstration purposes anyway. So it doesn't really warrant or need to be in 1080p. And as you can see, the game absolutely runs beautifully. Uh, I'll have to do a test on um, Grid Auto Sport as well to see if that runs streams and plays beautifully. But I'm hopeful that it will. And then I'll have a go with the uh, Euro Truck and American Truck as well. Uh, now, as I say, this is probably about um, as wow uh, as good a value for money setup as you're ever going to get. Uh, you know, and you should be able to build your PC uh, for you know your Guild Wars two or your trucking or whatever. Uh, maybe even sub two hundred pounds, two hundred dollars, which is pretty damn competitive in today's ridiculous. Uh, lifestyle environment but nevertheless I really just wanted to share this with you because it's an absolute joy and if any of you out there are thinking of switching to Linux you don't know which Linux to go for which desktop blah 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 well hit me up on discord a link to my discord is at the top of the YouTube page come and have a chat and if you fancy a blast on PC Linux OS I'll put you in touch with Ali, who will be only too happy to whip you up a customised, so specifically tailored to your needs, and it should give you an awful lot of reliable daily pleasure, month in, month out. It's as simple as that. But don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. Watch all the other YouTube guff videos about how good this is and that is and how awesome this is. Seriously. I've got many years, many, many years of using um, Linux on the desktop uh, as a daily driver, and I've never managed to do it yet. PC Linux OS, absolutely blown me away. It really is everything that it promises to be, and then some on top. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe to the video, or down. Thanks for watching. I will see you for another wicked English Bob video.